Jesus makes himself known through the empty tomb. Luke 24, beginning in verse 33. And they rose that same hour, and they returned to Jerusalem. You guys get that? It was dark, they were tired, been a long three, four days, and they went seven miles back. They rose that same hour, returned to Jerusalem, they found the eleven and those who were with them gathered together, saying, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of bread. So obviously, once they understood it, and this is what's really powerful, should really convict us. Once they understood that Jesus was risen, they trusted in that. that. They understood the implications of that. They couldn't shut up about it. And it didn't matter anymore. It didn't matter that you could go down to the temple in Jerusalem and, talking, and start talking about Jesus and they were going to arrest you and kill you, stone you, hurt you, persecute you. It didn't matter anymore. Why? Because he was really risen. And so now you have a group of people that no longer are they just full of theological truth. No longer are they pretending any, mo- any longer to be religious, pretending that they're better than other people and deserve to go to heaven. They are transformed. Their lives are changed forevermore. They are fearless in life and in death. Life for them is Christ. Death for them is Christ. Why? Because Christ is risen. This is who you are if you are in Christ today. The disciples were amazed by the empty tomb. They eventually, as we just saw right there, they believed it. They were transformed. They were changed by it. As a result, almost to a man, probably to a woman, most of them died. Terrible, horrible deaths instead of denying it. When all they would have had to have ever done would say, yeah, you know, you're right. We did make this up so that we could get money off of poor widows. Yeah, we made this up so that Dan Brown could write this book and make millions, you know. We made this up and don't kill me or my wife or my children. I made it up. They died instead of denying it. Why? Because the tomb is empty. Jesus had risen and he had proven it to them. What this should do for us standing before the empty tomb. Thoroughly convinced, 2,000 years later, you and I, when we really believe that and are transformed by it, it should assure you that someday after all your sinning, after all your suffering, that if you have repented, you have trusted in Christ, someday you too will walk away and leave a tomb empty. Empty. 